up YouTube, it's your camera boy Jonah. Alright, as some of you may know and probably the most don't know is I made up a challenge for myself and that is uploading to YouTube every day for 30 days. Now I'm at day 4 and as every day so far it's midnight and I don't have a video but actually I just thought about an idea that I want to share with you guys. It's a preset that I made, it's like this kind of, for me it has like this Polaroid vintage vibe and I really like it. I made it when I was in Thailand and was shooting for um, a boat party there, like it's on the Pippi Islands. Check them out, I'll link them here. Uh, really cool guys and you see the most beautiful parts of the islands, you meet a lot of people, you can get really drunk if you want to. So now let's jump into the computer and I'll show you guys the tutorial. Hope you guys learned something. Subscribe for more because I'll be uploading for 26 more days. Alright, so here we are in Lightroom and I selected a couple of images to show you guys. So they're already edited with the, the preset I made. As you can see it has like this, yeah, kind of old vibe. Uh, I really like it, I really like the feeling of it. Alright, I'll jump into some before and after so you guys can get like a feel of what the preset does. So as you can see this is the before image, this is the preset. So yeah, it really has this like vintage uh, kind of vibe for me, I really dig it. You can see the same like the color of the water, the sky, like I don't know, it just has like this, this touch for me, I can't really place the feeling but I just like the way it looks and it makes me feel actually about the picture. Alright, so now that you guys saw what the preset does, I'll break it down for you, uh, how I made this one. And as some of you may know, I like to show it by turning off all the effects. So here, the tone curve, HSL, split toning, detail, lens corrections, transform, effects, calibration. Uh, here's a quick tip for you guys. If you right click, uh, like here at basic, if you right click, you can choose which ones you want to see, which panels you want to have and you can have like solo mode or show all uh, I'm in solo mode as you can see and that means that like everything is um, minimalized and it only opens if you click it I think it's, uh, for me it's like faster to switch between them that's why I like it, so here's a quick tip then another quick tip of course is Toggling this on and off shows the effects made in like the panel, like for example in the tone curve. Bam, you can see this is with the tone curve, this is without. Also, if you leave it unchecked like this, and you export the image, it will be as you see it. So that's also handy. Alright, but let's jump into the tutorial now. So bam, everything is turned off, except like the basic uh, adjustments. And as you can see, one of the things I did was bringing down the highlights completely and raising the shadows uh, completely and why I think it makes like uh, a good adjustment for this type of look like this kind of old feeling this vintage look is because if you lift the shadows really hard it in a way kind of ruins the image sometimes you know because you kind of take away from the dynamic range actually uh, but and it gives like a more flatter look to the image but i actually really dig it and that's what also gives like this old vibe to it so as you can see this down this up yeah and it's more like flat but it been in a positive way so i bumped the contrast i upped the exposure that's mainly just because it was a little bit underexposed and also bringing the highlights completely down will do this then the whites and the blacks, I didn't touch them that much, like raising the blacks will have kind of the same effect like as the shadows, it will flatten the image and it might actually be nice to do it even more like uh, raise the blacks also to get like even a more flatter and older look but I like my images still to be a bit punchy as well, that's why I don't want to fully raise the blacks. Up the clarity, brought the vibrance down and added a little bit of saturation like bringing the vibrance down will make 
like the non skin tones kind of desaturated but by, because I brought the saturation of the skin tones up the people still have like a nice pop to them all right now let's check what the tone curve did so bam here we go with the tone curve as you can see um, what I mainly did with the tone curve was make sure that there was kind of like a fade on the image and how do you do it raising the first point here so these are your highlights these are like your shadows so as you can see now it's more again like uh, black and it has in a way a bit more contrast but if I raise this the black has become a bit more grayish and it's there starts to be like this fade on the image for the rest I didn't do much like here I as you can see I brought the highlights down a little bit and they also it also gives like a little fade to the highlights so the whole image has like a slight fade so here's the difference all right now HSL as you can see this did quite a lot to the image uh, and it's something that I really dig doing for a lot of type of images it's uh, just like a look and a color I really prefer and that's playing with the aquas and the blues until they get like this greenish teal uh, vibe so as you can see now it's more like a normal blue and by bringing these down I mean this is even like too much something like this I like it becomes more green teal uh, yeah kind of this old type of look of blue and I also to give this like effect even like a bit more uh, I brought the saturation of the blues down because if it would be very saturated it also kind of loses this old feeling so here you go like minus 20 whatever luminous I didn't do anything all right split toning I don't even think I did anything there nope details also nothing you could go with like uh, some sharpening to because we will add some grain later and the sharpening will make sure that it still has like kind of the crunchy pop to it um, now lens corrections I brought I didn't do anything all right <laughs> transform also nothing and then here we go with effects so bam as you can see I raised the grain to 100 I wouldn't maybe advise it for every picture to do this but the reason why I went like crazy and went to 100 is the pictures were mainly meant for Instagram and social media platforms where the resolution is really small and the image is small so your effect will not really have that much impact and if I would like just put 20 grain nobody would see it now if I put 100 grain people will see that there's like kind of a, this old grainy vibe to it uh, I also made like a small vignette like minus 5 is almost nothing I mean you could go with this but I'm not like a super uh, vignette fan camera calibration I didn't do much here normally like camera calibration is also a place where I like to play around with the hue and, and like I wouldn't leave it like this but I would start out with it and then make the adjustment there but it's kind of like the same effect that I'm looking here as I already did with the HSL so I'm not gonna touch it that much alright you, you saw the effect on this picture so I'll quickly go through the pictures again just to show you like the, the look that they have now as you can see here the before and after I mean it's, like, it's just a cool picture actually but this really has this kind of old film look uh, and I thought it was like something cool to do for the company because everybody takes kind of like the same beach pictures and edits them in, in, a, in the same way like very bright and uh, wide beaches and I like to give it a little bit more attitude by giving it this old uh, vibe I'm really liking it with the picture here with the girl as you can see it looks like uh, like an old movie scene or something for me so I really really dig it 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This, um, let's say, uh, a look at one of my presets that I made. You can make it yourself now if you want. And I hope you learned some, uh, some small tricks. For example, the solo mode here. Uh, be, make sure to subscribe because I'll make 24 more of these videos hopefully a little bit more outside because that's actually the style of review I really like to do is like going into the field working with equipment and telling you about it not just like uh, putting it on a table just reading a paper of specs I don't give a shit about it uh, I mean it is important but I still I prefer testing out stuff while I'm really working with it and telling you guys how I feel about the gear. So that's coming up for sure. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.